Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! So here is this defensively gifted fighter. It certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man. And even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jump. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievably, just so wise. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, third Ready. party in the octagon Ready. tonight. Well, wow, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. It's New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Nice punch, man. Oh, rips the body shot there. Nice straight right legs. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. So more output, at least in the early going. Lands that beautiful jab. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Beautiful hands on display. Another punch lands. Just misses with the left hook. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Big left hook coming, it's flying. 
Oh, nice elbow. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Nice kick. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Fighter lands a jab. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Let the hands go. Let those hands go. That shot oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, Both guys. There you go. Look for the shot. Just misses with the jab there. Lands the kick to the body there. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. There it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Left hand finds the target. 15 seconds remain in the round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Second round, straight ahead. Great job that round. You won clearly. Take a deep breath and relax. Look at him over there. It's like a piece of meat. He's beat up. Let's go out there and look for the finish. I want you to try. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. In terms of the knee strikes, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Just nasty. I mean, just nasty knees. The moment he finds those opportunities to really drive his knee home, drive it into your body, he throws them, and he throws them with absolute force. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway. The knee strikes, really the big storyline in the previous round, whether it was the body, the head, the knee was there. The knees. I mean, how often do we see that anymore? Clinch knees, knees from the outside. A person that understands face management to this degree that they can land all those beautiful knees. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, good vision defensively. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, 
Ball misses with the jab. Superman punch lands. Trying to kick the leg out. That's good defense to get that guard up. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice uppercut, yeah. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Under three minutes now to go round two. Big inside kick. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we... Oh, what a connection by a man. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test out of the school. To boot. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Two minutes remain in the round. Use your jab. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. He's throwing these punches. And oh! Oh, big left hand there. One minute now to go in round two. Man, has his chin been tested early. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Missed with that attempt. Oh, nice. Lee's limping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damaged, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back and make the requisite adjustments. Connects with a beautiful jab. Ten seconds to go in the round. His misses are out of time. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands, causes this cut, opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut, but if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper, and he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. Really choose the times in which you're going to advance to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing, but that corner was fired up. 
They want him to be more dis defensively sound as this fight continues. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Straight punch. That'll work nicely left. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage. Right? Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Good knee to the body there by Lee. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Huge block there. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, nice. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side right now. It's kind of hard to look at, Daniel. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the... Uh, about the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big knee lands right through the pony fit section. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Relax. Nice straight right hand. Well, that body kick was the oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. So the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons. Tonight, he is using those knees to slow down his opponent. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his eyes. This could be it. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh. Lee gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Well, you hear that crowd reaction every time he gets battered to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more of those. I mean, even us, we're grimacing like how many more can this guy take? He cannot continue to take these body shots. It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. Right. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Stop. All right, man. You're doing awesome. Completely controlling this.
this fight wherever it goes. They want more of the same. Go out there, be fast, be sharp. Do not relax on this guy. We can't... All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Straight punch is true. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this ball. The right hand just misses. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Effective jab there by Lid. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now. Oh, and he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, a huge block there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Oh, nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. to the left hand now. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, with authority, the body. Back to the jab now, no good. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, oh he's got him hurt badly now. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Great defense. That's the championship. Man! Oh, oh, big left. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, connects with the one-two. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person
person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood is coming from the cut. Lee going for the leg kick, nothing doing that. That's a move right there, DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook, it landed perfectly and it hurt his opponent very bad. And what a round! All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us get you some replays after that round, and he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished right. yet, but if he keeps right. hit, getting hit there, it will be, and then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Ooh, that hit man hurt. Lands a jab. Oh, then again, back to the big kick, and it lands. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, nice. Kicks all day, his mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's gonna take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Just out of range with that strike. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Circling towards the left now. Liver kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Three minutes now to go in this one. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Back kick there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He's got good leg kicks. There it is. Right on the button. Let's go. Fighter blocks the punch. Oh, massive kick, Lance Flush. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Here could be the beginning of the end. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here, some calf kicks, and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. But there's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. Shot heard him. Now 
now with the knee. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. It's worth. One minute to go. Oh, nice straight left. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. He's cut. Get the elbow. Ooh, big shot lands. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. It's a big knee. I need you to pay attention. Body shot. the final horn that one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation all right so as we await the judges scorecards dc will look back at his handiwork he had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight man he did a great job it was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow a great flow state in regards to the stand-up he said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance and i am thoroughly impressed All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more opportunities.